G'day aspiring engineers. In this video I'm going to show you how to orient your part in Fusion 360. So many of you have been asking me how come my part's over on its side or on its back? Well I'm going to show you four different ways in Fusion 360 to reorient your part and make sure that it's the right way up. Welcome to Future Engineering. The future starts now. Well, I've just opened up the first model in the 16 basic tutorials and we can see that the part opened up just like this. You might think this is the, the foot of the part. It's not actually standing on the foot. And you can see that in the view cube here we have the top and we have the Y axis, the green axis, comparable to the top. Now I didn't really care which way was up when I first made this part, but I've found out that many of you in the audience do care and you care quite a lot. Many of you have been asking me about this. So here's the first way that we can correct this or at least control which way is up for our part. Click on your photograph in the far top right. Second one down on the little menu that flies out is Preferences. And on the first General page you can see halfway down roughly uh, Default Modeling Orientation. It should have Z up, not Y up, that's the alternative. Z up makes more sense for anybody who's involved with CNC machining or with 3D printing. Uh, Z up makes sense. So I'll click OK, that's the way it is. Now you can still get it on the wrong plane by choosing the very first plane when you're making your sketch. Let's have a quick look at the sketch. Right click on the sketch in the timeline down below. Click Edit Sketch. And you can see the sketch and you can see that looking at the view cube here you can see that we're on the XZ plane. That means that when I first started this part I chose the bottom plane in order to make the first sketch. And we can prove that by opening up the sketches folder in the tree. Turn on the visibility of the sketch and you can see where the sketch is here and it's on the XZ plane. That's the first way to control the orientation of your part, and that is to have the Z axis upward, the Z comparable to the top instead of the Y. Now here's the second way to reorient your part, and that is with the Move tool in the Modify menu. Click on Move Copy. The Move Copy dialog box opens, and you'll notice that you need to select whether it's a body, a component, or a face, or sketch objects. In our case, we want to reorient the part. So I've selected bodies in the Move Object field, and it wants me to select which body. So I'll click on the, the part itself, and we can see this cursor here. We can either use the arrows for translating, or we can use these other ones for rotating. Cancel that one and go back to Home and home is just the, the default orientation. Now let's start the command again, move copy, select the body. So what I'm going to do is use this one and so I'm going to turn it and you notice that we've got a, f a field here which is focused when I let go and I'm going to type in 90 which turns it so that it's right upside down. So in this case I'm going to put a minus in front and then we've got it oriented in a way that's a bit more sensible. So click OK and then the move is complete. Notice that it's 90 degrees from where it was. So that's the second way. Now for the third way of reorienting our part. What I'll do is delete that move feature that we've just created there. And it's back to the where it was. And I'm going to click on the home position so that it moves it into the isometric view in the middle of the screen that we had. And the third way to change the orientation of our part is on the modify menu we have a line. Click on Align and the Align dialog box opens up. Notice that we have to select bodies or components. Stay with bodies at the moment because this part is just one body. We'll select it. And I've selected one face on the body. And it's going to move this body from the face that we selected to another one. Now, it's the only piece of geometry in the screen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the view of the origin. I'll turn on the visibility of the origin by turning on the little eye and I can mouse over the planes in the point of origin and I'm going to choose that plane at the back and when I click on it the part aligns with that plane and so this is the same result that we had the first time with the move command. Click OK and you can turn off the visibility of the origin if you like. When we click on the home icon it moves back into position and you see that it's 
got the same result using the align command. And we have the align feature in the timeline down below. Okay, we've had a look at the preferences. We've also had a look at the move tool and the align tool. Now the fourth way of moving a part and aligning a part is with joints. So joints are here on the assemble menu and there it is joint. There's also as built joints, but we're just gonna do joints today, fairly simply. It is a way of moving parts around on the screen. Typically though, it's not done with one particular part, it's done with an assembly. So I've got two blocks here with two cubes, doesn't matter what size they are, just made two cubes so here we go I'm just going to click on assemble joint and we get the joint dialog box here I'm going to do the very simplest thing I can possibly think of but first of all what we need to do is actually ground this yellow cube I'm going to move the purple cube to the yellow cube um, so let's ground it first there is a quick way of doing it and that's right click on the component and ground and you see the little pin here on the component and that means that this component is grounded. All right, now we started with assemble and joint and we've got a couple of things to look at here in the joint dialog box. But the first thing is uh, we're gonna use a simple joint and we're gonna select this cube here. And when we mouse over it, you see this little icon that is somewhere on this thing. We're gonna pick just on this top corner. The focus moves to the other cube now. This is the one that's grounded, so that's component two. So what I'm gonna do is pick a corner, and I'll go for that one. And so we have the purple cube moving to the yellow cube. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. To go back a step, I'm going to delete that joint parts are back where they were. This time we're going to make a different kind of joint. So assemble, joint, to we're going to choose the slider option here on the motion tab back to the position tab the component one that is the one that's going to be moved is this one and i'm going to click this edge here and you notice the selection cursor the selection icon clicks on there then for component two i'm going to select this edge down here and we see a an animation for the sliding joint you can see that we can move that anywhere along here. Notice that we can revert the position when we've moved it. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is a revolute joint and you can see the, the indexing wheel and a shaft. I just made this little shaft up just for the purpose of this little demo here. In this case, I'm going to do something other than grounding the shaft. I'm going to make it so that we can put the indexing wheel on the shaft up against this shoulder here and I want to make it so that I can spin the wheel around. So the way we need to do this is fix the shaft in place. Now you can actually do this thing where you can ground it, but I'm going to do something slightly different. This is what they recommend and that is put an as-built joint between the shaft and the top of the tree and there's a rigid joint it's okay so now this shaft won't move all right now for the joint between the two components we're going to go to the position tab and choose the revolute joint back to the position tab and uh, the one that wants to move is the uh, the indexing wheel and you notice when i move anywhere on here you see the little joint icon appears and if i move over the boss we see the little icon appear right in the center which is where we want it and then for component two we want to have the shaft and i could pick anywhere on the shaft here but i want this to go up against the shoulder and i want the joint icon to be right there in the center okay that looks pretty good we get the animation for the joint and so we can now move the wheel on the shaft we can also revert the position I'll show you how that works. You see the, the little keyway, the indexing wheel does have a key, but the shaft doesn't. And when I move the, the wheel, you can see that the keyway is now in a different position. When I click on the revert icon, it goes back to six o'clock down the bottom. 
So that's uh, four different ways of moving and reorienting the things in Fusion 360. And the last thing I'll show you is in uh, joints. Down here we have the Revolute joint. We can right click and uh, animate joint. And you see that the wheel is rotating on the shaft. Hit the escape key to stop. That'll do for today. I'll see you next time.